Hello everyone, this is Marcelino Benitez reporting from Star Draft TV. I would like to say I have Mike Voss here in the building again. Good to see you. Good to see you, my man. Over his third win uh, over Eli, yes? Eli Shakur. Yeah. Eli Shakur, Shakur I'm sorry. Um, from, uh, well, on 106 in Park, BET. Mike is currently the, uh, the champ, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about that battle and uh, what you got going on as far as uh, side projects and you know that type of stuff and how this whole whole ride has been for him. Tell us how that battle was. I mean, for you, were you a little nervous going in? You know, what, what was it like? Well, you know, we were you know, well we to go. It's gotten to the point now where uh, I'm comfortable. Uh, I don't really get nervous no more. Okay. Uh, the first week, obviously, you're nervous because you're about to be on TV. Then the second week, I had like this idea that I was going into a losing battle. Right. As we talked about. Right. But after that, I'm like real comfy now. So, uh, but that doesn't mean like I'm relaxing, right. taking it right. easy, right. obviously. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I went into it like, you know, I, I was ready for, you know, any anything. Like, so, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I didn't treat it any different. I just, the nervousness wasn't there. But uh, I didn't take it lightly. Obviously, I came out the winner. Um, by a, a ridiculous margin, 96 percent. Yeah, I saw that. Is ridiculous. <laughs> I saw that. I definitely saw that. Yeah, and like so, people realize, like there's no way to fix that either. Like there's yeah. no no rigging or anything uh -huh. like that. Like, people have spoken. You know what I mean, and the two Lecrae and um, shout out to Lecrae and uh, Shaheem Reed as well. Uh, Shaheem Reed's the editor of Double uh, XL. Double XL, yeah. Who follows me on Twitter now? I think my second round uh, was definitely my weakest performance okay. thus far, um, you know, because his second was really weak too. And uh, his first, a lot of people are like talking down on that guy, but uh, I thought his first was pretty strong, you know, honestly. Uh, I thought he had some pretty clever lines in there. Um, I just feel like there's an element, you have to adapt to your audience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't just mean the kids that are watching. This is a freestyle battle that's happening right now. It's not a battle on YouTube where you can, like, Loaded Lux or something, where you can rewind it and catch what he's saying. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Loaded Lux was on Freestyle Friday. Yeah. And if you watch Loaded Lux's written battles and then him on Freestyle Friday, it's like a different person. Like, I'm not saying, I'm not comparing myself to Loaded Lux. Obviously, we're completely different rappers. Right. But you have to adapt. Like, that, that's why I feel my second round, I had a lot of wordplay off Shakur. His last name Shakur. Right. So I had a lot of Tupac wordplay Tupac, that yeah. a lot of people didn't get. Like, you know, I, I think I said, uh, picture me rolling on this dude when I hit him up. Uh, what else did I say? Would you, picture me rolling, hit him up, or Tupac songs. Um, Stop it, fam. You a fake Tupac like the Coachella hologram. Like there was a hologram, yeah, hologram coach with Tupac, up. yeah. People didn't get any yeah. of these things. The Sh Shakur wordplay, I don't believe it was slept on. You had 92% of the votes. Yeah, 96. 96. So, in this case, like, you know, I don't think it got slept on, if you ask me. But that's just my personal opinion. I just, you hear the audience is kind of flat for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's let's talk a little bit about the voting. Uh, oh, yeah. Going yeah. into your, going into your, uh, your next week. <laughs> Let's. Which would be your uh, your your fourth your fourth week, correct? Yep. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the voting. Um, is it is it going to be through text this time? Is it going to be uh, three judges? What what's the word on that? All right. Well, as y'all probably know by now, uh, I had last week off because of the hurricane. Uh, it was impossible. I didn't know until Wednesday night, for sure. But they told me I would have off. Now it was gonna be three judges, like the old format. Because, um, well, I can't get into that. But it was going to be three judges, like the like my first battle was. Mm -hmm. But Hurricane Sandy happened, and New York became a, a Book of Eli scene, and it was impossible to get in there. So they postponed it a week. So this week, it's back to the regular format that we've been doing, uh, that they've been doing. It's going to be two judges, and uh, the third vote will be the viewers. And you're going to be able to text in text champ to the number that they give you and also you'll also be able to vote through the one of six and park app if you have an iphone i'm not sure how all the app works i got a galaxy obviously you saw me win it uh so but 
Yeah, the 106 in Park app, you can vote through that and text this time. Last time you couldn't use text. Right, right. Last time. Right. So, use both, because that means you can vote multiple ways. You vote for Mike Voss, um, he's representing his hometown, Levittown, also Philadelphia, you know, the 215 holding it down. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, we talked about the, the voting situation. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit about, you know, any side projects that you have coming up as far as, you know, I don't want to call them projects, maybe any events that you might have coming up. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to make very clear, it's going to be November 9th, correct? Um, yeah, Friday, November this Friday. So November 9th, uh, 106 in Park, BET, be sure you tune in. Vote for a man right here. He's definitely going to hold it down for Philly in his hometown. I promise time. a better showing than last time. Definitely. I promise. Okay. So, up and coming events. You know how this this roller coaster ride that you've been on. I'm not going to call it. I'm going to call it a vertical ride because you've been raising the bar each time you've been going on. But uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you know you might have some some events and shows coming up. So you might want to you know share with the fans and share with me a little bit. Uh yeah. Um. I don't, depending on when you're going to post this, uh, I, I'm opening for Caden's Weapon tomorrow or tonight. Okay. I don't know when you're going to post this, man. Okay. We're going to edit this part out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm opening for Caden's Weapon from Canada. Uh, I'm a big fan of him. I'm excited for that. That's in Philly, Kung Fu Necktie on Front Street. Uh, you can check Facebook.com slash Voss Hip Hop or Twitter, Who Is Mike Voss, for updates on that. Uh, that that's gonna be a dope show. Also, this weekend, the day after my battle in New York, anyone that's watching that lives in New York, uh, I got a show at the Knitting Factory in Brooklyn, uh, which is a legendary venue. Uh, I played there once before. The sound is so it's great there. It's a great space. It's a great time. Shout out to Space Lab, um, and that's Saturday the tenth. So if you're in Brooklyn, come through. Uh, it's a later show. I think it starts around 10.30, so come through. Uh, also, next Wednesday, the 14th, I'm opening for Killer Mike. Some of you might know Killer Mike from uh, work he's done with OutKast. He was on The Whole World. Uh, he's done work with T.I., Young Jeezy. That's good stuff. Uh, he's, he just put an album out produced by this cat, LP. It's one of the best albums of the year, in my opinion. Uh, I'm opening for him in Westchester at uh, Westchester, PA, at a spot called The Note. That's going to be dope. We've got a lot of shows lined up. Still working on some more, even more exciting opening spots, but we'll see next time where I'm at. So that's, stuff, that's coming up, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's definitely good stuff. Um, yeah, definitely. If you're in Brooklyn, I mean, you know, you see this, you see this footage, definitely check him out. Uh, at uh, what, what's the name of the place? Name? Knitting Factory. Knitting Factory. Cool. Um, is there anything you want to share with the fans, man? You know, like uh, any 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 shout outs, anything? First and foremost, I really appreciate all the support. This is crazy. Like I know I'm acting calm or collected, and I talk about it. I'm not nervous, but you know I'm not nervous, but I'm still excited. Like this is crazy. You know I'm still doing this. I'm still here. You know what I mean? And a lot of it has to do with you. So at first I was kind of upset about the public voting thing, but now I'm really embracing it because people are getting behind me, you know what I mean? That people are actually supporting me. And that's a great feeling, you know? I'm not really surprised by it, you know what I'm saying? But it's sometimes you don't expect uh, the right thing to happen, you know what I mean, in, in this world. Definitely. So it's cool that that's happening. And 96%, that's crazy. Let's, maybe we can make it 100%. On Friday, yeah. Uh, but ninety six percent is crazy. So I really, if y'all can keep up these numbers and like keep 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 us winning, you know, I'm gonna pay pay it back with really dope music for you uh, and some dope performance. So now that I have a nice phone, you know, what I mean, I can take quality pictures and put them on Instagram for anyone that cares about that. Uh, SoundCloud, I'm on there. I'm just trying to expand my social network. You know what I mean across. Uh, across the internet so um yeah just keep in tune keep tell your friends that's important tell your friends yo this dude on freestyle friday blah 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 tell him uh and i promise a great perform. i promise victory for the next two weeks i don't care i don't care who they put in front of me it doesn't matter mm -hmm. i pro i made a promise to myself and a couple important people that i would that i would do this so let's let's do it that's so, what's up. That's two what's more. Up. Yeah, two definitely. More. Two more, guys. I mean, 
support my man here, you know, uh, he's also on stardraftmusic.com. Um, you know, we are a social media network music website. So please, you can check him out on there, um, among with other artists as well. Um, but shout out to you for voting for him. November 9th on Friday, uh, 106 in Park, BET, 6 o'clock. Yep. 6 o'clock, definitely check him out. Um, you know, he's going to be in New York Saturday, so he's definitely going to stay out there. You're staying over Friday to Saturday. Yeah, I'm in so, New York all yeah, weekend, cool. baby. So definitely hit Let's him up. Party. Hit him up. He has his new phone that he won a couple weeks back. Mm -hmm. He's good to go. He'll get the message ASAP. Team Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, Team Galaxy, you know. <laughs> That's how we doing it. But uh Balling out. Boss, man, it was it was a pleasure to have you on the show, man. As so, always. Yeah, man. definitely, definitely. Thank you, man. Um support my man Voss right here. Shout out to Levittown, Philly, the whole Delaware uh area, tri state area. Um Yeah, shout out to Delaware. Yeah, Got a lot of people in Delaware. Definitely. So um check them out. Mike Voss, 106 in Park, November 9th, Friday, B E T, uh 6 p.m. This is Marcelino Benitez, reporter from Star Draft TV. Mike Voss, we gone. Peace.